Good afternoon, it's 4.15 approximately on Thursday the 27th of October 2022. I'm going to be sharing with you the mass readings for today. I'll just begin with one or two prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And I'll pray for Canon Peter Collins, Bishop-elect of the Diocese of East Anglia, which is my own area. O God, eternal shepherd of the faithful, who has chosen your servant Peter as a successor to the apostles, and to provide over the people of God in East Anglia. Grant him, we pray, a spirit of counsel and fortitude, a spirit of knowledge and piety, so that by word and example and faithful service, he may build up the church in our diocese, to be a lasting sign of your presence and salvation through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for him. Saint Felix, pray for him. Saint Etherelda, pray for him. Saint Edmund, pray for him. I will share with you what the readings will be. The first reading will be taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10 to 20. The theme, rely... Oh, sorry about that. I have to see who that is. Hello? Who is it? Hello? Who are you? Uh, Google delivery. Yeah, for who? Me? Number 13, Cannon Court, Janet Wilmsley, Heron. Yeah, I'll let you in, OK. Come to the door, please. Thank you. Door open. Sorry about that. I wasn't expecting a delivery. it is. No idea what that is. I wasn't expecting whatever it is. I'm really sorry but I can't um, edit so there'll be a blank in between. I was only telling you actually what I would be reading. <laughs> sorry but I can't edit anything out so you just have to zoom along. So um, the theme Rely on God's armour to hold your ground. So that's, you pray Ephesians 6. The um, psalm, the reading will be from Psalm 143, 1 to 2 and 9. And the response, blessed be the Lord, my rock. And there's two gospel acclamations. In church you'd only have one, but... 
I usually read them both because I like them. I'm, I don't have any preference. So, um, the first one is from Psalm 147, verse 12. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth, alleluia. Or from Luke 19, verse 38, alleluia, alleluia. Blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heavens. Alleluia. And the gospel reading is taken from Luke chapter 13 verses 31 to 35. And the theme... It would not be right for a prophet to die outside Jerusalem. Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Rely on God's armour to hold your ground. Grow strong in the Lord with the strength of his power. Put God's armour on so as to be able to resist the devil's tactics. For it is not against human enemies that we have to struggle, but against the sovereignties and the powers who originate the darkness in this world the spiritual army of evil in the heavens. That is why you must rely on God's armour or you will not be able to put up any resistance when the worst happens or have enough resources to hold your ground. So stand your ground with truth buckled round your waist and integrity for a breastplate, wearing for shoes on your feet, the eagerness to spread the gospel of peace, and always carrying the shield of faith, so that you can use it to put out the burning arrows of the evil one. And then you must accept salvation from God to be your helmet, and receive the word of God from the Spirit to use as a sword. Pray all the time, asking for what you need, praying in the Spirit on every possible occasion. Never get tired of staying awake to pray for all the saints, and pray for me to be given an opportunity to open my mouth and speak without fear and give out the mystery of the gospel of which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that in proclaiming it I may speak as boldly as I ought to the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Psalms. Psalm 143 And your response blessed, blessed be the Lord my rock Blessed be the Lord my rock Blessed be the Lord my rock Who trains my arm for battle Who prepares my hands for war Blessed be the Lord my rock Blessed be the Lord my rock he is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my saviour, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed lute. To you who give kings their victory 
who set David, your servant, free. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessings on the King, who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heavens. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme. It would not be right for a prophet to die outside Jerusalem. Some Pharisees came up to Jesus. Go away, they said. Leave this place, because Herod means to kill you. He replied, You may go and give that fox this message. Learn that today and tomorrow... I cast out devils, and on the third day attain my end. But for today and tomorrow and the next day, I must go on, since it would not be right for a prophet to die outside Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you that kill the prophets and stone those who are sent to you, how often have I longed to gather your children as a hen gathers her brood under her wings and you refused? So be it. Your house will be left to you. Yes, I promise you, you shall not see me till the time comes when you say, Blessing, it's on him who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we'll look at the reflection this Thursday, 30th week of Ordinary Time. The reading was Luke 13, verses 31 to 35. In one of the Psalms, we find the line, He... The Lord will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. It is the image of a great bird, excuse me, protecting its young and protection with its broad wings. It speaks of the Lord as a source of refuge and protection before what the psalm calls the terror of the night and the arrow that flies by day. In the Gospel reading, Jesus picks up this imagery of the bird with its sheltering and protective wings. He says to the people of Jerusalem, How often have I longed to gather your children as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. It is a very motherly image, suggesting the mother's instinct, like the ducks out here when they have young, protect her young. It speaks to us of the Lord's desire to have a very personal and intimate relationship with us all, which serves as a refuge and a source of strength in times of trial, enabling us to go forth and confront evil in its various forms with goodness 
and hatred with love. In the first reading, Paul uses a much more male, indeed martial image, calling on us to put on the armour of God so as to resist when the worst happens. We should put it on every day. Among other items, he identifies this armour as the shield of faith and the sword of God's word. Jesus' image of the hen gathering her brood under her wing presupposes a willingness on the part of her brood to be gathered. However, as Jesus says there, you refused. The longing of Jesus to gather the people of Jerusalem to himself did not meet with a corresponding longing to be gathered on their part. The Lord who desires an intimate relationship with us that provides protection and strength can only do so much to make that relationship happen. He needs a corresponding desire on our part. He needs us to long for him as he longs for us. He needs us to put on some of that armour. Paul mentions that in the first reading and that's one of the powerful spiritual weapons we have to put on the armour of God daily which we should do we should, we should be praying all those kind of prayers now because we're in very very dark times and there's a lot of evil increasing not lessening it's increasing it's affecting our children our grandchildren and so dreadfully in this era that it never did in my childhood or, or growing up not so powerfully as now it's not stopping it's relentless so we need to pray protection prayers on a regular basis yes thank you so much for listening may god bless you and heal you i'm sending you his peace in abundance may you always be happy and joyful in the lord I'm going to continue um, doing my usual meditations and uh, I'll try and do as many as I'm able today. I'm feeling very tired because I never get up as early as what I did this morning. <laughs> so I'm already feeling in, in my eyes a bit. God bless and thank you so much for your comments and sharing. And Deborah, I bought this for you today while well, at the church and it's a little baby Jesus and it comes out <laughs> of the and it's it's been blessed with holy water and prayed over by the priest for Christmas it's beautiful isn't it they've got quite a few well few little things for sale there and they've got a whole set of um but I just saw the baby and I thought yes that's so lovely isn't it I'm sure you can find them in your church. We can't find them in Hunt Stanton. They don't do anything like that there. This is down the market in my hometown. They have lots of little things there for sale. God bless. So that's on. that will be going to Australia. I don't know when, but in time for Christmas. <laughs>